Hi everyone, my name is Kevin and today I want to show you how you can get Microsoft Word entirely for free. It won't cost you anything. Let me show you how to do it. Here I am on my Windows 10 PC and what I'm going to do is uh, let's open up the browser and uh, right now uh, you need to navigate to office.com. That's really all you have to do and you can get Microsoft Word for free but I'm making a video so I might as well walk through the steps that you have to go through to use Microsoft Word for free. So what we're gonna do is when we're on office.com, uh, you can click sign in right in the middle of the page. You also have a sign in in the top right hand corner. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and let's just click on sign in. If you have a Microsoft account, go ahead and enter it in here. So if you have an at outlook.com, at live.com, at hotmail.com, any one of those accounts will work. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you could create one and it's entirely for free to create a Microsoft account. Um, I already have an account, so I will go ahead and log in. Uh, just typed in my username and I'm gonna type in my password. And then I'm prompted to stay signed in. Why not? Let's go ahead and stay signed in. The next screen I land on, this is office.com. This is the entry point to O365, but the thing that we care about today is how to use Microsoft Word for free. Uh, you'll see you have all these different apps that are part of, uh, that are part of an Office account. Uh, you could get to Excel, PowerPoint, you could use Outlook, you could use a calendar, but what we care about is Word. So I'm gonna click on the Word tile right here and that opens up the Word start page. I can get back to recent documents on the left-hand side if you've worked on documents before. Um, if you want to start with a new document, you could start with a blank document right here on top of the page. Uh, you could also start from a template. So depending on how you want to start on a document, you could do it on this page. Uh, up here, this is just letting you know that when you create a document, it'll be saved in OneDrive. That's a place uh, where you could save documents in the cloud. So wherever you are, you can go back and you can get to your document again. Uh, another thing you could do is many, many people have probably, probably have a Word document on their desktop or in their document folder on their PC. How do you access that? Well, what you could do is up here in the top right hand corner, you also have an option to upload a document. If I click on that, it'll bring up a prompt and then I could select a Word document. And so if I have a you know, Word document, I'll upload it and I could start working on it on the web. Uh, what I'm going to do though is I will click on an existing document I have, uh, which is my trip planner document. I'm going to click on that and uh, that will open up the document in Word Online. Uh, here I am in Word Online and I have uh, this file that I've uh, created previously. Uh, some of the things about Word Online that you'll see is it's just like the desktop app. Uh, here I have access to all my different styles. I could insert tables, pictures. I could put a big smiley face emoji in here. Let's make it a lot bigger. Um, so I could insert an emoji. Uh, I could really, anything that I expect to be able to do with Word, I could do it here in Word Online. I could access design, layout. Um, I have access to all my different tools. And now, once I save the document, so now that I've worked on my trip planner, if I go back to office.com and I refresh the page here, one thing you'll notice is that Trip Planner is now my most recent document, so that's another way I could get back to that document. Um, and here if I go into, so I'm going to open up OneDrive uh, in a separate tab. Uh, here I'll go into my files, and if I click into my documents folder, uh, here too you'll see that my Trip Planner document is, is here. I could also click on it from OneDrive to get back to that document. Uh, but this is, this is how you, you can use Microsoft Word entirely for free. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, so just have fun, start using Word. And hey, if you enjoyed this video and if, if you found this helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see future videos like this and other tips and tricks on your computer and how-to videos, please subscribe and that way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. Thanks a lot, hope you enjoyed watching.